Hi everyone. Today on the occasion of International Mental Health Day, I'm going to talk about the memoir of the very famous Matthew Perry, fondly known by his character name Chandler Bing, on the popular sitcom Friends that ran from 1994 to 2004. His memoir is titled Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. Matthew's memoir is full of life lessons, is a very detailed account of his battle and journey with addiction, full of vivid details of his childhood, his parents' separation, and makes you wonder every now and then what he was going through behind the scenes, all the while he gave his takes at Chandler Bank. Matthew talks about his parents' separation when he was nearly nine months old. He talks about having to take a flight as a five-year-old without any accompanying adult to Montreal, where his mother lived, to Los Angeles, where his father lived. Born to a father who was a very famous actor and a mother who was very young, Matthew underwent a lot of childhood trauma because of his parents' separation. He had to deal with a lot of abandonment issues as the result of his parents' situation. He talks about how as a child and as an adult, he had to deal with a lot of self-blame that he put upon himself for his parents' separation. As a young boy, he even saw his parents getting married to different people later on. Although he claims to have adjusted very well with the children his mother had from his second marriage, and in fact went on to share great bonds with some of his sisters. However, being a child of divorce had its own complications and affected his psyche a lot, and also went on to impact his relationships with women, a lot of which have been described in a derogatory manner, but I would let that slide and okay. concentrate on the lessons that one can take from them. Fear of abandonment did not let him commit to these women, as a result of which most of his relationships failed and he remained unmarried, lonely and longing for a companion. Having had his first drink as a 14-year-old, to getting addicted over time to alcohol, Xanax, Oxycontin, Vicodin, and going through very tough phases, being sober, being in rehab, and then having relapses as well. As you read these experiences, your heart goes out to him and you see how clearly his mental health struggles with addiction led to a lot of physical troubles for him, which also included a colon explosion, more than 12 stomach surgeries, life yeah. support and circumstances in which it was thought that he would not make it, and also a two-week coma. In some ways, Matthew was similar to Chandler, using humor as a defense mechanism, all the while carrying the psychological burden of a child of divorce. If you've been a dedicated Friends fan, which I'm sure you might have been if you're watching this video, you may also remember the way Matthew looked so different over the 10 seasons. Some seasons in which he looks overweight, there's some seasons in which he looks very lean and thin. Going through his memoir, you realize at what point he was going through what in his personal life. Matthew Perry was definitely a brilliant actor with great comic timing. He also did some great movies like Fool's Russian, The Ron Clark Story, and 17 again. He mentions in his memoir what all he has done for other addicts, giving hope to those like him and encouraging them to come forth and embrace their struggles. This memoir made me wonder that somebody who made everyone laugh on screen went through so much turmoil in his real life, both emotional and physical. This memoir should inspire compassion, empathy. More importantly, it should inspire parents to be better parents rather than raising a child amidst insecurity and a fear of abandonment. Watching Friends is somehow never the same anymore. Matthew Perry, who will always be remembered, being the great actor and the inspiration for many people struggling with mental health and addiction.